This is a serve receive drill I do with my niece. I split the court in half. You can see the red cones going, splitting the court in half. I have to cover everything on my side. The blue cones form a square, a, an area that I want to pass to. That gives me one point. There's a red cone in the center of that square that will be worth three points. Now that is extremely difficult. <clears throat> we usually make that three point a lot bigger, but we're just challenging ourselves today. <clears throat> also, we we're going on a lower net to speed up our feet, make tougher angles. So we are really getting after it this day. Now I know passing you want you you should keep it in relation to where the serve is. But for this drill, we're just learning how to set our platform to a target and pass it to that target. Now let's break down one of the passes that went on target using Savvy Beach's serving receive technique outline. First you will have pre-movement to lighten your feet getting ready to move. You will read the serve direction and do a quick split step toward the ball. As you are doing your split step you will now get a spot read. This will tell you the spot on the court where the ball is headed. The speed and angle of the serve will let you know if it's either shorter or deeper in the court. You will now know where to set your platform and when and where to base. You will base below the ball so you can push up and with the ball to provide or take off power as needed. Follow through steps will happen after you pass in the direction you pushed. server is about to serve. There's my pre-movement. I read the ball and I split step toward the ball. I'm pushing off my outside foot, loading on my inside foot so I can shuffle and line up my platform on the path of the ball. I'm lining it up on the first step of the base and then it's set on the plant foot. Notice how I do not get in front of this ball. I recognize that it's driven higher and going to land behind me, so I stay on the side of it so I can extend my platform early in the path of the ball angled towards my target. I've seen many players at the lower levels get in front of this ball because they're taught to get in front of the ball. Then they would have to swing their platform into the ball, shooting the ball right above them deep in the court. We teach making the platform our priority and our feet helping the platform. So many people fight to get their feet there and then have a late moving platform and we find it less efficient. Notice how I am not setting my feet and swinging my arms into contact. I am setting my arms and timing my feet to push into contact. And then there's my follow through steps. If I had one thing to change, my follow through steps would shuffle through, not cross over.
Now let's see Savvy Beach's serve receive technique with a pro. Let's walk through the steps. Server serves. And he's getting his read. Ball slightly to his right. He goes to his split step, pushing off the outside, loading on his inside step. Chest is down. Shuffles, shuffling to his base. He's getting his platform set on the first step. Then he bases below the ball on his plant step, and his platform is set. The ball is too high to get in front of. He's keeping it on the side. And he's lifting with his legs, not swinging his platform to provide the power. Watch as he lifts his legs. I'll break this one down a little bit more because it's so essential to a good pass. Push, 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 still platform, still platform. And you can even see this foot coming through with the ball boost. Now let's break down a bad pass. Have my pre movement, blitz step, right after the read, the ball's hit slightly to my right and pretty hard. I base quickly and I make the bad move of trying to get in front of this ball. It's too fast to get in front of them. I actually should have pushed, at this point I should have pushed to my left and repositioned my platform on my right side to bring it back to the middle. Watch a pro in the same situation. He will base, and instead of moving into the ball, he'll push it away from the ball and reposition his platform. Here is his base. He realizes the ball is towards his right chest. And instead of pushing to his right into the ball, he pushes to his left away from the ball to reposition his platform. And you can see his follow through steps after. Visit SavvyBeach.com to see our class schedule to learn how to use these techniques. Play our skills games to get scored and see where you rank with other players.